as I'm doing my black, and let me talk a little bit about my surface. Um, the surface you use is of critical importance. I do only oil primed surfaces of one kind or another. This particular surface is an oil primed um, panel, basically straight MDF from uh, Home Depot that I gessoed with. I use the Gamblin oil ground on this one, which I like. produces a very slick surface. Now I've got some texture on here when I did it with a brush. I left some of that brush texture in the gesso. Um, I don't necessarily like a, a, an ultra smooth panel. I still like texture. But what I like about this Gamblin oil ground is how slick it is. It's totally non-absorbent. Why is that important? Non-absorbency is important because all the oil in the paints sits up on this. Nothing soaks in. And it's that pigment, especially in the transparent um, colors, the darks, it's the pigment sitting in that oil that gives you those wonderful transparent effects that oils are known for. If you use an acrylic canvas of some kind, acrylic primer, it, it soaks in, basically drains the oil out and you lose those transparent effects. And so even though I'm working very thin here, these are just thin washes. Um, there are some wonderful transparencies and things that are starting to happen. It probably doesn't show up as well on the screen, um, but when you're doing it here in person, you can start to see these effects. In my mind, they are not to be missed. I mean, this is what makes oil paint so great. Um, in terms of my mediums and solvents, um, when I'm outside, I like, I like the real turpentine, the triple rectified or the, the pure gum spirits of turpentine. It goes by a few of those names. You know, the good stuff, I call it. It evaporates very quickly. These layers will set up very quickly on this canvas. And that's really a key approach to working on these slicker oil surfaces is you need two things. You need to set these, allow these layers to set up. Of course, when we're outside, it helps uh, if they can set up quicker, um, which is what the turp is good at doing for these initial washes. And then the next thing is you gotta have the appropriate brushes to work over those layers. That's why I like the mongoose brushes. They're not as stiff as a bristle and they will interfere less with the underlying layers that I put on here. And so the net effect is I can get these washes of color on here early and they'll dry quick and I can keep painting right into the, the subsequent layers. Now you may notice my blocking approach here. Instead of killing the white canvas entirely with one color, which I could, could do, that's a standard approach. Standard approach would be to take the transparent oxide red and the ultramarine deep and a thin wash and just kill it. But when I'm outside, usually time is of the essence. 
so I like to block in reasonably accurate colors in the areas where they belong. 